you are basically in a laboratory when it comes to the ratings and how you run your clock will impact your ratings. There's no question about it. So just be cognizant of it. It shouldn't change your content. Your content to me has nothing to do. It's like, oh, I did this great interview because I got ratings. It doesn't work that way. Well, does not that, work that though, way. If you're doing content, let's say, because you always had the 505 guest, right? right? Power. If you see for a span of eight weeks that a guest isn't popping, does that influence whether or not you keep going to that guest? Uh, it, it, it like let's say for some reason now 505 has always been that's the power hour in the afternoon drive it's always the biggest hour anyway and what we would do is we would load the managers up there okay mm -hmm. the managers are getting paid that's where we would load them up everyone wants to hear them they're only on once a week those are automatics whether you have a football coach there if you have a Joe Girardi there if you have a Bobby Valentine there which was always great because you never knew what crazy thing he was going to say uh, so uh, if you have Aaron there uh, you know wh whatever you did there same thing or if you have like the giant coach this year who you know I had trouble with so you do one of those at five o'clock it just explodes okay where well, we get in an argument or he gets mad or whatever because you know we went up quitting as a matter of fact and, and I, I made the comment at the time nobody who had ever quit the show as a coach or a manager because they thought it was too hot ever lasted to the next year and it's four for four